As you're working on uh, different uh, video editing projects, there will be a number of times when you actually need to bring in uh, media from a CD or a DVD. Client may have a previous project that they worked on with another uh, company and uh, they have perfect rights over all of the material and they say, we would like you to take a certain section of this DVD and and uh, use it in uh, the project that we're having you edit, and maybe they don't have the actual uh, tape backup of that project, and so you need to resort to bringing in uh, material from a DVD. And of course, there's the need to often bring in music tracks into your project, and so it's a good idea to know how you can do that in EDIUS. Let's just go ahead and uh, fire up the program here. Now the menu option that you're looking for is called Tools, and you can find it uh, either in the uh, preview window under the EDIUS logo under Tools. You can also find it under the bin window under the EDIUS logo and Tools. And uh, the option you're looking for is called Disk Capture. Go ahead and select that. And you are presented with a dialog box called Disk Capture. Let's start with uh, CDs, and uh, I've got one here from my music provider, Killer Tracks. It's uh, from their network library, so let's just go ahead and pop that in. And of course, it's uh, just a word to the wise. It's always very important to be very careful how you use music. The music industry is uh, oh, here. If the media went... If Media Windows Player starts playing your CD, just close that window. Uh, but as we were saying, you have to be careful how you use music uh, because the music industry is very diligent about how they prosecute people who use their music without it being licensed. And uh, if you're a wedding photographer, a wedding videographer, and the bride has uh, handed you her favorite uh, CDs and asks you to uh, you know, make a beautiful montage uh, set to their favorite love song. Um, well, I, I, it's, it's one of the reasons why I'm not a wedding videographer. One of the reasons. Uh, but you, you just might want to be careful because you may justify it by saying that she's paid for that CD, she should have the right to be able to watch her wedding images uh, set to that music, but of course... When you stop and think about it, you realize that uh, she's probably not going to be the only one that gets a copy of that DVD. She might want to put it up on the internet. And, you know, the, uh, the, the licensing issues can just compound and snowball. And uh, you can get yourself and your client into a lot of trouble by using uh, commercial music, licensed music, without getting the proper synchronization rights. And uh, even if you try and get synchronization rights, it can be very difficult to track down uh, who to get that licensing from, and uh, so it's, it's just a, a nightmare. It's just better to stay away from using uh, music without uh, uh, getting a license for it. Okay, here we are. Our CD has been recognized by EDIUS. It has brought in all of the tracks, and uh, EDIUS gives you the option of um, deselecting certain tracks that you may not want to bring in. Let's just go ahead and uh, unselect some of those. But before you go ahead and hit the capture button, it uh, is a good idea to go over here to the bottom right hand corner and click on this little button here. And here you're given the option and the opportunity to uh, name your files as they come in. And you'll see you have some options here. What I like is this third option down here and I can give um, a base name and I'll just use the uh, name of the CD. It's Network 165. And uh, then EDIUS allows you the opportunity to choose where you would like to save those files to. And again, it's a good idea to select a drive that uh, is something other than your system drive. Go ahead and make a, a new folder. I see I already have one here called Network. Let's just drop them in that folder and uh, go ahead and hit OK. And uh, EDIUS does give you the option of lowering the uh, volume as it brings in the uh, CD material, but I just usually leave that at uh, zero and the rest of the option settings are for DVD. So let's just go ahead and hit OK. And uh, now that we have the tracks selected and our naming convention set, we can go ahead and hit the capture button. And EDIUS goes ahead and starts to capture those files.
And while Edius is capturing these uh, music files off the CD, it's also at the same time converting them to a WAV format. And uh, the speed at which uh, Edius does this will depend somewhat on the speed of your CD drive. Uh, you can see it's capturing um, them at uh, much faster than real time. Some of these tracks are 10 minutes long, uh, but Edius is going ahead and capturing them based on the speed of my CD drive. While these are coming in, I might just uh, give one more word of caution to those who may be new to the video editing world about using unlicensed music. You know, if you use unlicensed music and your client is showing this at a trade show uh, or in a public setting uh, or distributing your video to clients or donors and uh, your music is not licensed, they can end up in court and uh, end up in fees and fines that uh, run into uh, $100,000. So you can be sure that your client is not going to be happy with you if you have given them a video uh, using unlicensed music. So always be sure that the music that you use in your video projects are licensed. Okay, our capture is uh, completed. Go ahead and hit OK, and we'll close the window. And now one last step is that we have to import the media, import the files from the folder that we sent them to. Bring those in and Edius will drop those into the bottom section of your bin that was open. I happen to have the music bin open, and so they dropped right into my music bin. Now, if you want to just uh, go ahead and select any one of these, and do a right click on one, and go down to Properties, and in the Clip Properties dialog box, you can just take a look and confirm that Edius has indeed uh, converted this to a WAV file format for you, and it is ready to pop onto your uh, timeline. Uh, Edius will quickly make a waveform of it, and you can go ahead and play it. And because my license with Killer Tracks, uh, with which this network music is held, uh, includes web-based distribution, I can go ahead and play this music. Uh, because it's licensed for the internet. When you do set up licensing with uh, uh, agencies that have this production music, you, you need to be careful to look over your contract. Uh, sometimes they'll try and negotiate a contract where you have licensing for just distribution on DVDs. And then what if your client wants to show it on TV? Well, if you don't have the licensing for broadcast, you're going to have to go back to your music provider and uh, get uh, extra licensing at extra cost. And then your client says, well, we want to put it on the Internet. Well, if your contract doesn't allow for you to use their music on the Internet, you might have to go back to them again and negotiate another fee for uh, playing the video on the Internet. And your client is not going to be happy to be getting these extra bills. In fact, sometimes what can happen is you might have broadcast licensing for North America, but then your client wants to show it in Europe uh, on some of the stations over there, and you have to go and get worldwide broadcast rights. And so... What I've done is with my music provider, Killer Tracks, I have made sure that I have worldwide broadcast rights and worldwide use on the internet covered in my contract so that no matter what any one of my clients wants to do with the videos that I produce, I'm covered with music licensing. Okay, uh, enough of that hobby horse. Let's maybe go on and uh, pop in a DVD and see how we can capture... Well, actually, now that I think of it, I should probably... Um, say a few words about using material off of DVDs. Again, you have to be very careful how you use copyrighted material uh, that may be on DVDs. When people hear that you uh, have started uh, working in video, they may approach you. It might be a, a teacher at your local high school, or it might even be your pastor that has come and asked you to, to rip a little bit of um, material off of uh, one of the movies that they have in their library so that they can use it uh, in their presentations. And while it is true, there are some gray areas in, in uh, copyright law uh, and uh, there are certain situations uh, where uh, fair use is okay uh, in satire 
and in um, educational uh, forums. Um, I would still advise caution about how you uh, work with these uh, requests and uh, save you and your friends and clients a lot of grief by sticking with using only materials that uh, your clients have rights to use or you have purchased rights to use. Uh, you may have purchased stock video and that has been sent to you on DVD and you need to get that stock video off the DVDs onto your hard drives. Or your client may have handed you a DVD and said, this is our last promotional and we need you to pull a few clips off of it to use uh, in the new promotional that you're working on. And uh, so there are, are a variety of different legitimate situations where you need to pull material off of a DVD. Okay, so let's pop that in. And again, go to our EDIUS, go to our Tools menu, and Disk Capture. And EDIUS will take a minute to read the DVD disk and uh, find the different programs that are on that disk. And let's say your client has said, uh, you know, uh, we need you to get some material off of program number two. So you can just unselect these other videos that uh, are on the disk. And uh, then before we go ahead and capture the material, let's check uh, our options over here under Settings and uh, maybe give it a name and uh, let's specify where we would like to save this file choose a hard drive maybe make a new folder and open that folder hit ok and uh, we don't want to change the volume what we do want to do under DVD settings is go ahead and click uh, reconstruct files when capturing DVD video and that should do it. Let's hit OK and go ahead and capture. And EDIUS goes to the DVD disc and begins to capture program number two. Now, there could be uh, cases where when you pop in your DVD, EDIUS does not recognize that there's any media on that DVD. And you know that there is because you've played that DVD and you've seen uh, media coming to your computer screen or to uh, a regular TV monitor. What has probably happened in a case like that is that uh, the producer of that video has uh, put some type of copyright protection on the video. Uh, they don't want you ripping it, they don't want you using it, and uh, so they have uh, set up something so that EDIUS does not recognize it. And uh, so if you really need to go after material that, that is on one of these DVD discs that EDIUS does not recognize and have the tracks show up like they have here, uh, what you might have to do is open the DVD in Windows uh, and uh, search for material that way. And when you find media uh, using your Windows Explorer, drag that into one of your disks and then open up the uh, folder that you've dropped it into and you might have to actually play around with the file extensions of that file until you get it into a file format that uh, EDIUS recognizes and then you can import it into EDIUS and play it fine. The other day my wife came back from the hospital with a DVD of her ultrasound and uh, although we could watch it on the, on the TV, watch it on the computer, EDIUS did not recognize the media at all and I wanted to bring it into EDIUS I wanted to put it into slow motion and, and take a look at it uh, at a slower pace just to see if there was anything that I could see there. So what I had to do is, is uh, bring it in through Windows and import it into EDIUS. And I think I did have to play around with the file extensions to get to, to a point where EDIUS could recognize it. And then it was fine. I imported it fine, dropped it on the timeline fine. I could make it in slow motion. And so don't be discouraged if this disk capture tool in EDIUS does not recognize your media. You can always try and bring it in directly using uh, a Windows drag and drop into your hard drive. Okay, so our capture is complete. Close that window. Uh, one more step, we have to import it and we navigate uh, to that hard drive. Look for our folder, DVD Media, and just double click on it and it brings it in. And uh, we can check it out uh, through Properties and we see that uh, it's a standard definition, uh, 720 by 480. It's top field first, which is right for DVD. It's MPEG-2. Okay, looks like we're good. Let's bring it down to the timeline and take a look at it that way. EDIUS makes a waveform. And you'll see that uh, it has brought it in, and it is a file format that EDIUS can work with.
Okay, well, that's it for importing media from CDs and DVDs.